They taught my people to swear by Baal, then shall they be built in the midst of my people. But if they will not obey, I will utterly pluck up and destroy that nation, saith the Lord. Praise the Lord, that's what the most I say is going to deal with the nation. That's who he is going to deal with, that's who he's dealing with, are the nations. The nations are going to be humbled up under the hand of the mighty hand of the Lord's power. And that's what we need to understand. Says America just so happens to be the leading nation in the earth today, the, the, the superpower that's running things. It's the, humb the humbling is coming to America real soon. The humbling is coming to America real soon. Now check this, we're going to switch this whole vibration up, and we're going to pick up this thing live on live. How you doing? We're not shaking hands. What you want to say? Chris, how you doing, Chris? You got a question? You want to be prayed? Well, we don't do that type of thing. That type of thing they do in religion. When they pray for people, just out the blue, they just pray for anybody. So, but we teach. We teach. We go out there and try to pass on the wisdom of the Father. We can't pray for everybody. Understand? We wouldn't know where they come from, or what they're doing, or how their life is going. We need to identify with people. You know I mean, uh, I know a brother, man, that means he, he, we grew up together in the Bible, man, and then he became a, a, a guy that do funerals and weddings. There's no possible way you're just going to do funerals at the drop of a hat. You're doing everybody's funeral who want a funeral, and you don't even know the person. Well, you married everybody off of this stuff. We just saw uh, bogus weddings. Listen, man, we switch this vibration up to we're going we gonna to bring this into uh, Psalms, the 26th chapter. Because we, we try to bring out a vibration that, that applies to everybody. Everybody needs to wake up and get with it. Because the time is at hand. You understand? A lot of is here. You understand? And that's the next thing about this vibration, man. A lot of brothers and sisters that, 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 that hold this Bible throughout America. They're in the streets and they're preaching. But they don't come out with real lessons, man. They come out screaming at the people, blasting the people, cursing the people out, and all these type of things, man. Which is a, it's madness, man. There's no possible way that that's right. Or that's righteousness. You understand? There's no possible way you're going to come out in the street, hold the Bible, and start cursing people out. You know these four, 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 four little ex 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 They call it Opera by his word. You understand? You come out opera by his word. You talk about you teaching the people something. You're not teaching them righteousness, man. You understand, brothers and sisters, man, with all this madness. You understand? Listen, the bottom line is you're not gonna make the assembly of the upright. You're not gonna make the great congregation. You're not gonna get into. You're not gonna get the salvation from on high. And you brothers are lying, man. And you don't have these great guys right. Everybody running around talking about only the Israelites gonna get salvation. So you come out and scream on the Israelites, cuss them out, and you curse out the so-called white man like that's righteous. Where's the righteousness in that, man? Show what you got, huh? Psalms 26 and 1. Judge me, O Lord, for I have walked in mine integrity. I have trusted also in the Lord, therefore I shall not slide. That's the vibration that we're in, man. We want to be able to say that. We want to be able to say to the Most High power to judge us, man. To try us. Show us, show, show us that, that we're off the vibration that we, so we can get it right. Examine our body because we're in sincerity. We try to walk in this vibration in sincerity. So we tell the Lord, examine us, judge us. Give me Psalm 139, read it. Psalms 26 and 2. Examine me, O Lord, and prove me. Try my reins and my heart. Right, try my reins, my inner organs, try my inside and my mind. Prove me. You understand? That's what a sincere brother or sincere sister will do. They're looking and they got prayers, they got these vibrations in their heart. They want the Lord to prove them like this, man. Read it. Psalms 26 and 2. Excuse me. Psalms 26 and 3. For thy loving kindness is before mine eyes, and I have walked in thy truth. Right, that's where we're at, man. We walk in the Lord's truth. It's sincerity. You understand? Shut up, I'll tell you feeling, man. All right? Praise the Lord, all right? Right, right. All right, thanks, brother. Let's show what you got, out. Psalms. Psalms. Psalms 139. Uh, oh, Lord. Thou hast searched me and know me. Thou knowest my down sitting and my upright. Thou understandest my thoughts are far off. That's where we at, man. We got to be able to open ourselves to the most high power. We got to be a let. We, our lives are supposed to be open books, man. We come out in the street, we talk about we own the word of the most high power, and we preach the word of the Lord, and our lives have to be open books. Our lives have to be an open book. We can say to the most high power, examine us, man. Man, man. Check us, man. Make us know what we're doing wrong so we can get right. 
Let us know that we're wrong so we can get it right. Give me Psalm 19. Get it? Psalm 139 and 3. Thou compassest my path and my lying down, and art acquainted with my weight. The Lord is acquainted with all our ways. A brother or a sister that knows these vibrations is sincere to that. You know the Lord is examining your zone. You know the Lord is, uh, you know everything you do. So a lot of people, they know that they don't follow the Lord, so they don't, they don't want to pray. It's right, you shouldn't pray if you're you determined to be wicked. If you're determined to be wicked, if you're determined not to get it right, you should be able to stand up in this word. It's sincerity. The Lord can examine you. Anybody else can examine you. You put yourself on the block, man. On the front, on the front line. So everybody can check you and prove themselves as you prove yourselves in this word. Read it. Psalms 139 and 3. Thou can pass my path and my lying down, and art acquainted with all my ways. Right. For there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O Lord, thou knowest it all together. The most I knows it all together, man. Brothers and sisters, I don't know what they think they're doing, you understand? Walking around in America, and like the Lord don't understand. Or you don't know what you're doing. You don't acknowledge it. You're not going to make you pay for it. Punishments are coming, man. Punishments are coming. Retribution. Payback. Christ is coming back with fire and brimstone, man. Read it. Psalm 139 and 5. Thou hast, thou hast set me behind and before and laid thy hand upon me. Right. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is too high. It is high. I cannot attain unto it. That's how it is, man. This is not our own soul. We don't own this vibration. The Lord set us before, in front, and behind. He can pass us round about. Either everything that's going out of our mouth, what we can understand that we have now, is big. It's too big for us, man. What do we know? We used to be a little run around, knuckleheads, run around in the street, and didn't know which way was up. We can't credit ourselves with this vibration. It's Christ that ruled this song, man. Show what you got, huh? Psalms 19, verse 12. Alright. Who can understand his errors? Who can understand his own errors? Hold on, give me this, uh, uh, 9 7, 19 7. Psalms 19, verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. The law of the Lord is perfect, man. That thing don't fail. It's man that change and turn away. Read it. Converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure. Right. Making wise the simple. That's how this thing go, man. This thing here will straighten you out. This thing here will give you wisdom, which is what you need. The law of the Lord is perfect. The testimony of the most high power is sure. Making wise the simple. Read it. The statutes of the Lord are right. Rejoicing the heart. They rejoice the mind. The statutes of the Lord are right. They rejoice the mind. The commandment of the Lord is pure. Enlightening the eyes. Enlighten the eyes, man. That's what we got to get into. We got to voluntarily get into this vibration to understand what the Father is talking about. We are voluntarily walk into this groove and acknowledge the laws of righteousness. The laws of right works. It's not in America, man. It's not the Constitution. Read it, out. Psalms 19 and 9. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. Enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. They have never died down and righteous altogether. The judgments of the Father are true and righteous altogether. Bring it back, line upon line. Psalms 26 and 2. Excuse me. Psalms 26, verse 2. Examine me, O Lord, and prove me. Try my reins in my heart, for thy loving kindness is before my eyes. That's how this thing goes. And I have walked in thy truth. That I have walked in thy truth. So we want to have confidence in this vibration, man. We want to be confident enough to know that everything that we know about righteousness, we did it. Everything we know to do right, we performed it. We sincerely endeavored to do the right things. That's what it's all about, man. And we all can stand up here and preach this word to the Father, because it's going to happen. There's going to be a great multitude, man. And they're going to lift up the righteousness of the Father, man. It's going to raise right up in America. All these people, brothers and sisters, are going to be sitting around watching. They're examining it. They're just saying they can't get in. Like in the day of Noah, eight people entered the ark, man. Eight people entered the ark. Everybody else was outside. and died in the flood, man. They perished. 
in the flood while they was running around doing their own.